Hi all, in this video I'm going to talk about avoiding food poisoning. Now I'm here in Thailand, but this advice can apply to um, anywhere in the world, to any country, This, um, the points I'm going to make. And you should be able to eat food and never get sick, you know what I mean? Unless you've got some medical condition, the average healthy person should be able to eat and not get sick. The reason people get sick is because of food poisoning and there's simply bacteria in the food. The food's been sitting around, it's cooled down, and the bacteria has grown. Um, a lot of tourists who travel talk about, like for example, Bali, in the, in the Indonesia, excuse me, the Indonesian island of Bali, very famous, they talk about um, Bali belly. You know, travelers go, they get Bali belly, get sick, stuff like that. I'm here in Thailand, same sort of thing, tourists get sick and so forth. And like I said, the reason people are getting sick is because of food poisoning. I hear people talk about allergies and oh, I'm, not, I'm not used to spicy food or curry food. That's different. Not liking a food is different. Like if you go to India, the curry foods, you may not like that food, but you're not going to get sick from it unless you have some medical condition or some allergy. Like people um, are allergic to peanuts and nuts and so forth. Um, bread and cereals people can be allergic to and can't eat that in their diet. That's a bit different. I'm not, I'm not talking. That's a different subject. Medical conditions and um, people who are allergic to foods. So the average healthy person you should be able to eat and not get sick. Now, this is what I found and this might be helpful. To me, there are two types of food. Like I said, I'm talking here in Thailand, but this should apply to anywhere in the world. Category 1 food is what I call it, is food made in front of you, um, for want of a better term. I might try to think of a better term for that, but food made in front, it's made right there and then. If you eat it straight away, you're not going to get sick, guaranteed, unless something drastic went wrong in the food making process. Yes, it can get sick from restaurants and stuff because some meat or fish hasn't been cooked properly, but generally speaking, the food's made, as long as it's cooked properly, it's safe to eat. Now. Category two are what I call the pre-made foods. Anything that's been sitting there, if you walk up to any cellar or a restaurant and there's food sitting there, it's a pre-made food at category two in my definitions. How long has a food been sitting there? Question mark. You just increase your risk of getting sick. That's where people get sick. The so-called, what I call the pre-made foods, my category two foods, if the food's sitting there, how long for? Um, that, like for example in Thailand, that's going to include all these sellers that have all these foods lying out there because they're going to deep fry or barbecue. They're the two main ways people cook in Thailand. Deep fried or barbecue, all your meatballs on skewers, sausages on skewers, deep fried chicken, crumb chicken or deep fried or barbecued fish and so forth, all that stuff. And quite often they'll make up a batch and leave it there to sell because people are walking past buying food, people in a hurry going to work and so forth and want to buy some food. So there's going to be food sitting there. The whole point is you don't know how long the food's been sitting there for. It could be one minute, it could be one hour, it could be one day and you just increase your risk of getting sick. The chances are that's where people are getting sick. Now if the food, if you see the food freshly made, it could be a seller, then it automatically becomes a food made in front of you. See how it becomes a category one food? If you go up there and you physically see food that's been barbecued or um, deep fried or whatever, put there and you buy it, or you know it's been made in front of you as a category one food, it's gonna be safe to eat. But if the food's sitting there, the other category of foods, um, pre-made foods, are all the bain marie dishes. You have all these um, dishes, uh, foods in the stainless steel dishes, the bain maries, you know, the hot water underneath and so forth. The controls in Thailand are pretty lax and so forth. A lot of these foods can be cooled or cooled down or cold and so forth. You run the risk of getting sick. And the other category as well is rice from a rice cooker. Now, before I talk about rice, I'll quickly go back to here. Foods made in front of you. Good two easy examples are all your fried rices and fried noodles. Big, well, you can never say never, maybe 99.99% it's guaranteed safe to eat. If you want to avoid food poisoning, guaranteed 100%, you can stick to those easy dishes. 
all your fried rices and fried noodles, whatever you put, you know, whether you like prawns in there, um, the chicken, beef, pork, whatever the case may be, most people around the world know about fried rice, you know, pretty common um, Asian dish. A lot of people who like Thai food will know about Pad Thai. Pad Thai, fried noodles, it's a fried noodle dish, okay? And like I said, it might get a bit boring always eating that, but that's 100% safe to eat. Now I'll come back to the rice from a rice cooker. Because you can go into restaurants and they might scoop rice out of a rice cooker and put that on your plate. And then it may come with a stir-fried element and the stir-fried food goes on top. The problem is any rice from a rice cooker, again, category two. If it's freshly made rice and yet they open the lid and the steam comes out, you know it's fresh, fine. That's virtually then becomes a category one food. But I've had many situations, you might go into the restaurant and you know they scoop out rice from a rice cooker, put it down and you're thinking, well, how long has that food been sitting there, that rice been sitting there for? It might be a couple of hours. I've been sick a couple of times. So, you know, it just, I'm not saying it's bad to eat in every case, but it just increases your risk of getting sick. If it's freshly made foods, it's going to go to category one. Okay, now, I want to talk about sellers now because there are two types of sellers in Thailand. What I'm going to call static sellers are the people that, they might still be uh, mobile or carts and things, but they're going to set up in one spot and stay there all day and sell to people, they're mainly going to be making Category 2 foods. It's going to start out always as Category 1, but like I said, as soon as a food sits there and you don't know, don't know how long it's been sitting there for, it becomes a Category 2 food and that's where you increase your risk of getting sick. Okay, most static sellers are selling that type of food, unless you see it freshly cooked. Then you've got the mobile sellers, the bikes, sidecars that just ride around all the time. You might flag them down and they're going to make food. They're not going to make pre-made foods because they're driving around. Then they're going to make the food in front of you and that's going to be category one. They might have, it could be anything chicken, the meatballs, sausages and skewers and so forth, either barbecue or in the deep fryer. And that's going to, again, be 100% safe to eat. So two types of sellers, static sellers, Cooking food, which always starts out as category one, but then they're going to make, make the food, it's going to sit there for how long, you don't know, it becomes a category two food, that's where you can get sick. The mobile sellers will normally make the food for you, and that's going to be category one, which is going to be safe to eat. Okay, the pre-made foods I will quite often bring home and reheat. Now, I've got videos in this playlist where I talk about my makeshift kitchen. If you're renting a more expensive condo, you may have a kitchen, but lots of budget rooms and condos in Bangkok in Thailand don't have kitchens. But you can make a makeshift kitchen. I've got videos about that. You might have a hot plate, fry pan, pots, plates, and so forth. I'm going to warm up the food and make it safe to eat. Bear it in mind, when I talk about reheating food, I'm talking about sterilization which is virtually 100 degrees Celsius, you know, boiled water safe to drink. Well, if you're going to do the same thing for food, it's going to be safe to eat. So it may well have a bacterial load if it's cooled down in the shop for a couple of hours. Bring it home, reheat, make it safe to eat. If you don't reheat the food properly and still get sick, don't come crying to me because that means you just haven't reheated the food properly. I'm talking about sterilization, okay? So pre-made foods, I will quite often bring home, reheat, but videos about my makeshift kitchens. So I hope that makes sense with um, the foods. Two types of foods, food made in front of you, you can see it made, it's gonna be safe. Your fried rices, fried rices, excuse me, or your fried noodles, definitely. You know, rice and noodles are very small and cook easily in a wok, in a fry pan. It's going to have small bits of vegetables and small bits of chicken or pork or whatever cut up and they're going to cook very easily in a fry pan. That's why it's going to all going to be cooked and heated and safe to eat. Then anything that's sitting there is a pre-made food. You don't know how long the food's been sitting there for, so you just increase your risk of getting sick. Unless you reheat the food at home on a hot plate in a microwave to make it safe to eat and the two types of sellers, so I hope that makes sense. The last thing I want to mention is fruits. 
Um, you'll have um, cellars in Thailand in like a glass case. You open it up, you've got ice in there, watermelons, um, pineapples and so forth. Um, the later you get in the day, the more riskier the fruit becomes. Watermelon and pineapple can make you sick, especially watermelon. Watermelon that's old can really make you sick. Um, so be careful about that. In the morning, the, the older it is, the, the longer it's been sitting out there in the sun, it, it might have ice in there. Just be careful, the fruits may get old, it can still make you sick, so that's a bit different. So there it is, avoiding food poisoning. I hope that makes sense. I think I've covered all the points, so take care.